What's up, Shada here, and today I will be going over the top five most iconic, maybe not necessarily the best grunge albums, but these are the most iconic. Now, if you, right, you know, if you like a different one or you disagree, tell in the comments, but keep it civil, okay? Good. Glad we're on the same page. Okay, here we go. Okay, so album number one is by Pearl Jam. The album is called Ten, spelled, you know, like the number ten. And I, I remember loving this album when I first heard it about a year ago. A little, okay, so a year and a half ago about, I heard, the song I heard was called Alive, and I was hooked. And I did some research and found out that this was basically the first album by Pearl Jam. And another song on there, Jeremy, uh, just great. And another one called black more depressing those are very like the whole album is great but those are the few highlights i've listened to but anyway i hope you guys enjoy this album as much as i did and maybe some of these like i said go in the comments tell me your favorite or most iconic that i probably don't know about i'll probably cover it okay next one all right, Alice in Chains, the the band. Well, this album was released in 1992. It's called Dirt. And I was kind of torn on whether to put Facelift or whatever on there. Because Facelift has their magnum opus, Man in the Box, which was released in 1990. Then, uh, about two years later, in 1992, they released Dirt. And that, that blew them up. Like It, it just blew up. <laughs> And there's a few songs in here that I really like. Down in the Hole, Rooster, Them Bones. I can't even think of them all. Rooster is definitely one of the better ones. I, I like Rooster. But, well, those are three I definitely know of. I'm going to go back and listen to it and see what else I can say about it. But this one, I really love this one. <laughs> Now, I've heard of Alice in Chains a lot before, and I didn't listen to them until about, let's say, about a year and a half ago, like Pearl Jam, and I loved it. I fell in love. And their their third album, um, Jar of Flies, has Nutshell, which is depressing, and Rotten Apple, you know, stuff like that. Pretty good, pretty good. Also, their fourth album... Their self-entitled album, Alice in Chains, I believe it's their fourth. Um, let's just say that I love that song, Frogs. It's just great. All right, next one. Now, if you knew anything about grunge, you knew this one was going to come up. Uh, Super Unknown by Soundgarden. Great, what can I say? Black Hole Sun, Fell on Black Days is two of, two of one of my favorites. Black Hole Sun is great to say the least but it's, it's it has a weird music video but this was released in 94 and Soundgarden was basically I think the first of the big four grunge bands to be formed in 1984 because Nirvana is 1989 Pearl Jam 1990 I think Alice in Chains yeah, yeah basically so they were a few years before anybody but they didn't have their breakthrough, very big breakthrough, until like 1991 with Bad Motor Finger. You know, stuff like that. But Black Hole Sun fell on Black Days. I know there's a few, other, a lot others that I have, I'd probably forgotten about. But those are like my two favorite off this album. Another album, I don't know what, I forgot what it's called. It was 1996 or something like that. And I believe it's a song called Burden in My Hand. It's It's great, it's great. And... Other one, Room a Thousand Years Wide, I think it is. I, I've been looking it up, and it is, they're all great. Check this one out if you haven't. Super Unknown by Soundgarden, 1994. Black Hole Sun is basically everyone's introduction to Soundgarden. It was sure mine a few years ago. And by the way, rest in peace, Chris Cornell. His 60th birthday was about, I believe, last month. And... 1964 to 19, to 2017. Alright, right after this we have another Nirvana album. I bet you already know what it is. But this one, In Utero, 
I have listened to, and it, I'd say it's really good. People usually, I've heard people crap on this album, but Heart Shaped Box, that's one of the, one of their most popular songs besides Smells Like Teen Spirit. And if you haven't, like, listened to their first album, bro, oh my god, Paper Cuts is great, that song. I, as soon as I heard it, I, man, I, I got a hard on, just telling you right now, man, I, I, I have never been sexually attracted to a song, okay, just saying. But anyway, this one, I, the one song that really sticks out to me is Heart Shaped Box. And yeah, there's a few other ones on here, but I, I don't want to do you a disservice. You know, just listen to at least Heart Shaped Box. And the next album I know way more about, this, um, it's, well, I don't want to spoil it, but this is where Smells Like Teen Spirit comes from, their, their magnum opus. The song of the 90s, if you will. Alright. The fifth, well, the fifth and final one coming up. Prepare your feet. Or whatever, okay? Okay, guys. You knew this was coming. Never mind by Nirvana again. Double whammy for Nirvana on this list. And Nevermind, like I said, has Smells Like Teen Spirit, of course, and Come As You Are. Those are two. I think I heard Come As You Are first, and then I started listening to more of it. But besides Come As You Are and Smells Like Teen Spirit, there's Polly, kind of dark song, but what other ones? I'm trying to think off the top of my head. Those three I definitely know. Okay, so it just came to mind. Something in the way. Very sad. Very sad indeed. But anyway, I hope you do enjoy these albums. But if you don't, tell me in the comments that what albums you probably would recommend to me. You know? I'm probably going to check them out because I do read the comments, okay? So tell me any grunge songs you like. I know a lot of grunge. I'll do another video on it probably Whenever I, when, I don't know, I just get bored and make a video, but anyway, I hope you, I don't know, I just hope you found this video interesting rather than entertaining, so yeah, hope you enjoy lovely, beautiful ladies and handsome gentlemen, and your boy Shada, signing out, till next time.